Hello, cult members, and welcome to the Pop Culture Cult. I'm Sean. I'm Janice. And this is our non-spoiler, or at least we're going to try, <laughs> review of Blade Runner 2049. Now, we went and saw it last night, and we gave ourselves a chance to... Sleep on it. Sleep on it. <laughs> let it let it let it settle for a minute. And uh, uh, we also did something last weekend where we went and saw. Uh, we watched the final cut, the first one, Blade Runner, the final cut, um, to kind of get ourselves refreshed and renewed, and and uh, gave us a chance to remember all the stuff that happened in the first one. And I'm glad we did that because it um, you don't have to watch the first one to enjoy this one, but it does allow you to understand some more of the story points and stuff like that. Yeah, and opportunity to uh, get some of the Easter eggs. Right, exactly. <laughs> um, like the uh, giant Atari sign. Um, <laughs> and this, so we're going to do our best not to spoil this. Uh, we will probably do a spoiler review next. Uh, so if you would like to see the spoiler review, go. Uh, uh, so here we go. So um, overall, what are your initial thoughts of the movie? Uh, I, I, it was awesome. Um, <laughs> wow. Uh, it was, it's, it's very big. Uh, when, when we, when the movie was over, we, everybody just kind of sat there for a little while. Yeah. It was, it was it funny. Didn't know how to respond. Like a lot of people like usually get mumbling or rustling or whatever at the or end clapping. Of the, or clapping or whatever, but the credits rolled and everybody just kind of sat there quietly for a moment. Like what just, ha like what did we just see? <laughs> like was that, I think it was awesome. So yeah, yeah. it was, yeah. Uh, overall, um, I, I've talked about this, about how this was, it's not the most anticipated movie I wanted to see this year. That was probably Dunkirk and of course the last Jedi. Um, but, uh, I was looking forward to this, and the more and more we saw, and the more and more um, advertising and stuff that they did, uh, the more excited I was for the movie. But I was, you can get so excited for a movie that it never lives up to your expectations. Right, right. This lived up to all of my expectations, and then some. And uh, just the way it's shot, um, the way it's directed, um, the performances by everyone in the movie, it's, it's, it's amazing on how well of a mo how well of a film this is uh, and how it's not just a sequel for a sequel sake and it's not action packed and yes it's slow and yes it's a little long but that's okay um, but this is a film they will be yeah. teaching they will be showing this in film school classes like they do the first one going forward um, so overall we both really liked it, but what did we specifically? What were sp some of the specific things that we liked? Uh, you want me to go first? You can go first. <laughs> um, so the uh, the cinematography uh, was awesome, right? The um, the sound. Uh, we went and saw it in Dolby, and uh, you know, from the very beginning, the very first scene, uh, the seats are rumbling, and your ears are. I mean, it's just, it's kind of sensory overload yeah. in the very first scene. Yeah. Um, I like that the story, um, the first one, one of the complaints was that it was very slow. Right. And, um, you know, honestly, if you think about uh, point A to point B in the first one, um, you probably could have told that whole thing in like a half an hour. Right. Um, right. This one... I, you know, even though the movie was long, I didn't feel like, um, other than my butt being sore because we've been sitting there for two hours and 45 minutes, I didn't feel like, uh, you know, it, it could have been shorter. I actually, it could have been longer because there was more that I wanted to. It's more of the world you like to have seen. Experience. Yeah. 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 For me, it, the, the, the way it's directed is just, it's so well done. The, the direction that, did, uh, Denis Villeneuve had for this movie. Now he talked about a lot about how he wanted to direct this because he didn't want anybody to fuck it up. Yeah. He really wanted to tell this story and have him be the one to do it. Cause he didn't trust anybody else to do it. And I think probably including Rid Ridley Scott. Um, <laughs> but just the way it's directed, it's just amazing. And on the performances that he gets out of, um, Harrison Ford and Ryan Gosling and um, 
w- w- uh, Sil- Sylvia Hawks who plays Love, um, and just everybody's performance is just so good, and, and it's and that's Denis pulling that out of them. Yeah, and you feel like you're right back in the Blade Runner right. universe. You know, you it's it's a little different because it's what thirty years yeah. in, in the future, but. Yeah. Um, yeah, you there was advances in the technology, but not too advanced in yeah. the technology, yeah. and and the replicants are like they're on you know uh, Nexus eights instead of Nexus sixes. So they've, yeah, you know they've moved forward, but not so far in the future. The future where you, you didn't recognize you, the world anymore. Right, yeah, exactly. Um, I also the the cinematography was done by um, Roger Deakins. He has to get a nomination, if not win, for this. Yeah, it's so beautiful. Um, and just the use of color when you're in Los Angeles and then when you're in other spots. I won't, we're trying not to spoil where the other spots are, but just the, they show it in the trailers. It's very orange and red and bright. And then when you're in Los Angeles, it's very blue and gray and dark. And was it snowing? Was it ash? Was it? I think, it, no, it was, it was snow, snow because it melted. Yeah, oh, that's true. Hands. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then. Like I said, the performances are so well done. Ryan Gosling, um, his performance uh, as a Blade Runner, his it's very hard to be a, a person as a character without emotion and still be able oh my to God, yeah. emote emotion without being emotional. Like not being yeah. screaming and yelling and, and all that stuff. He was able to make you feel for him so much. Um, There's a scene later in the movie with Harrison Ford and Jared Leto. That performance um, by both of them will be shown um, uh, to to acting students coming, going forward. They, Jared Leto is an amazing actor. Harrison Ford is a good actor for his entire career. He's been a good actor, but he's never been known for his acting skills. This was, Amazing by yeah. Harrison Ford. Yeah, and, and he that, definitely didn't um, phone it in as he has in the last. Uh, couple. Yeah, he definitely brought it in yeah. this. Um, there are some other characters, Love um, and Joy. Um, one was played by uh, Love was played by um, Sylvia Hoke. Ho- Hoax. Um, she um, is also like she's a badass she was yeah. just awesome yeah. to watch and then joy was really fun to watch um she was played by aria de armes um uh and she's the love interest for for ryan gosling's character and just just the, this the nuances and the subtleties for her character are just so well done and i just i can't i can't say a much enough about how much i appreciate the performances in this movie yeah yeah now I'm going to try really hard to find something I don't like about this movie. Okay. Yep, still can. <laughs> there. Yeah. I, I. Yeah. There's been some talk on the internet about being it being too long. I feel that I don't. I, I don't see how they could have cut it back. And a movie, you know, we've talked about this before. Um, there's been movies out there that they have cut down because the studio had um, more influence than the director. Right. And so they were able to come in and say, nope, you need to cut it off at, at two hours. And and those movies have not... Um, they've suffered for it. Yeah. They've yeah. very much suffered for so, it. So... Um, BVS is one of those examples. Definitely. Yeah. And... You know, so a movie being long doesn't bother me as long as it's long because... It, there was a story to tell, and there was absolutely a, a story to tell. Right, right. And then there was some, uh, there was some complaints. We watched a few reviews last night to see if how we felt about the movie was o- outside of the realm of other m- movie pundits on the YouTubes. And uh, f- overall, we felt much of what the same as everybody else has been feeling that we really uh, felt it was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. However, there's a few people who are on complaining about Jared Leto's performance. Now, my thing that I, uh, my thing I didn't like uh, about the movie is actually people who watch that movie and have a hard time with his character. His yeah. character is, uh, it's not a super spoiler, uh, it, but he's the guy who buys the Terrell Corporation. 
So he's a super rich dude, and he acts like a super rich dude, and he kind of is godly in his way he yeah represents himself yeah um and he's blind and all that stuff and i just he's i just i don't see how his performance is bad his performance is so good and i yeah i think that i mean maybe if there had been more of him um that they could have flushed out that part of it right more for people who maybe didn't understand and to be fair the the one that we saw, the person who was saying that they didn't like his performance, really wasn't into the original Blade Runner to That's begin true. with. That's so, true. Um, I, you know, I just feel like this is a movie that you need to go into um, paying attention. I mean, if you're yeah. looking for um, Marvel, you know, if you're looking for... If you're looking for something flashy and fun or whatever, this is not that kind of is, movie. This isn't it. Right. And the original Blade Runner wasn't either. You need to... You know, many people have said, I had to watch the original Blade Runner multiple times before I actually liked it. Um, I'm one of those people. Yeah, because the first time you watch it, you're just... You're amazed and confused all at right, the same time. Right, right. Um, and I think that this one is probably, you know, another one of those. But yeah, you you need to pay it more attention and not just... Uh, have the movie come at you. You need to experience it or or be in it. Right. Uh, so overall, obviously, we both really like it. Uh, it's uh, it's not a sequel for sequel's sake. No. It's a continuation of the story. And it's also not a sequel to start this, you know, Blade Runner franchise, universe, franchise, yeah. whatever. It is a standalone by itself sequel. Um, the you you could expand on this universe if you wanted to. Yeah. Um, and I wouldn't mind if they did. They I, don't need to do that. Right. They could do a different story in the same universe, and that would be awesome. And that would be okay. Um, and they can also go off world, um, or they can go to New York or Tokyo or, you know, the, 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 the world right now as it sits is Los Angeles. And so uh, expanding that would be really kind of interesting. Yep. Um, but... This is not a sequel for sequel sake and, and expanding the universe and all that stuff. It is a standalone movie. Yep. And I really appreciate that. They weren't going in trying to make something other than an awesome film. Yep. So, overall, we really liked it. What is your final score? <sighs> See, I don't remember what I gave Dunkirk, but it's right up there. I'm going to say... <sighs> I, I, Point five or a nine? I, I'm I'm <laughs> I'm probably nine five nine in that in that range. Okay, I'll say nine. Okay, I, I it's uh, it's gonna be really hard for me to put a ten on anything. Right. Um. Uh. You know the. I, I just I am never gonna be able to put a ten on anything. This is as close to as a perfect movie for me as I can get. Yeah. yeah. And so that's what we think. Of Blade Runner 40, uh, 2049, 4059, <laughs> Blade Runner 2049, uh, what did you guys think? Please like this video and please leave us your comments on what you feel uh, the movie was, what it's about. Uh, do you understand the storyline and did you watch the first one? Did you like the first one? Did you like this one? That kind of thing. So please leave us a comment. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. We do reviews. We do a weekly show. All that kind of stuff. Please also follow us on Facebook at the Pop Culture Cult or Pop Culture Cult One on Instagram, and we're at Pop underscore Cult One on Twitter because Twitter's got to be weird. We're also on the Stardust app, uh, Pop Culture Cult on Stardust. It's free on your on your smartphone, and download it. Follow us first, and then follow all your friends, and it gives you a chance to react right after you watch everything, like we did last night in front of the theater for twenty forty nine. <laughs> and with that, happy. Saturday, and good afternoon now. <laughs>